Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Prison Architect Island Bound. We're ruining our prison by attempting to make a giant cell block that's going to hold 60 plus prisoners and uh, is going to go terribly wrong for us. So, we kind of laid out our basic cells for all of our prisoners around the outside, okay? And now we were thinking about what they need amenity-wise. So, if you remember... Kitchens in cooking are one of the biggest problems we had before. So a kitchen needs to be at least three tile wide, tiles wide for us to fit in everything we need. Um, what I'm going to do is actually move this door over one. Uh, what else is being built here? We're not building this. We're going to have to build this sink somewhere else. So we're going to build the sink and mirror. It's going to have to go here, actually, in this place. Because we need to move this door over to here. The reason for that is, is this has to be our kitchen. Uh, and if you remember down here, like, look how huge this kitchen is to feed the majority of our population. And this prison cell block we're building is the equivalent of our entire other prison, uh, just for holding. So, that's that's the worrisome part, right? So now that we've got that door moved, we can put in this wall here. And we're going to make the kitchen... Uh-oh, uh-oh, who died? Who's dead? I don't see anybody who's dead. I don't see anyone who's dead. Who died? Oh, they've already moved into the morgue. Oh, he overdosed. This prisoner overdosed. Continues to be a problem. The overdosing. Um, how are we at exhaustion right now? Four staff exhausted? Uh, I want a shakedown. If we got people overdosing, that means there's drugs in the prison. Shake it down. So whilst they are shaking the prison down, again, we're going to build this wall for our kitchen. And our kitchen only has to be half the length of this one because we're going to double up some things. So, inside of a kitchen... Ah, uh, uh, rooms! A kitchen, 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 kitchen. Am I blind? Here we go. It needs a cooker, a fridge, a sink. Alright. So our kitchen is going to be... Eh... Uh, all right, so let's map these out. A cooker. One cooker. One fridge. And one sink. All right, so down here we have, yeah, we just need to make this kitchen happen over and over again. So we're going to have a cooker and then that sink is just throws the whole thing off, doesn't it? One, two, three. It's just hard to do. Fridge. There we go. And a sink. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four. Four cookers. How many do we have down here? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookers. So we need even more. Again, the kitchen is just the thing that is going to be feeding people is so difficult. You know? I mean, 60 people is a lot of people. Let's admit. I mean, it is what it is. Most expensive part of the prison. This. Uh, and then they're going to have to have... Oh, they'll just have to pass past each other. I don't really care. I don't really care. I can't type the word sink. One more set of cookers. One more set of fridges. One more set of sinks. All right, if this is not enough to feed this prison section, I don't know what is. All right, so next up we need to put in a door. Uh, this is a staff only door and it goes right here and then I need some walls look at them the foods coming in so at least we got that part of it right uh, we'll worry about utilities in the end we're gonna mark these all off in a bit so we have got our kitchen facilities to feed this entire giant massive group of people hopefully they don't start leading random people in here like that's going to be the big thing right like prisoners how do you make prisoners stay in one area uh is there a way that works with deployment staff only protected only i don't know I don't know how we would set this as only them. Don't know. Alright, so. We have food. Now they gotta be able to eat. So we need tables for 60 people to eat. So, we're gonna set that kind of here. We want at least a one space between things. So, a table sits. Alright, there's your space. There's your, your spot. So a table, on its own is one two three four five six so ten tables are what we need to have enough space for enough people to eat maybe not everyone gets to eat every day it's prison bad things happen um you know so one two three four five six seven Eight, nine. Oh, it's just barely fits. All right, and uh, they need to have benches. Assembly line prisons, my friend. It's what we're doing. Spending the money. Oh, there is this the overdoses galore happening. Hopefully people get to them. Hopefully now that we have the morgue, that's not just an excuse for people, you know, to get lazy about their jobs. All right, so canteen, you got to have a place to eat. Every cooker produces enough food for a lot of stuff here. So we need serving thingamajigs, right? A serving table. So the food gets put out. Oh, this is just going to be a land of disasters, I sense. Uh, 
whatever, they're cheap. Serving tables are 20 bucks. All right. So there's our canteen. There's our kitchen. We're missing a shower. And we're missing... Now, a shower you can do outside. So we could have an, actually an outdoor shower area out here. In fact, if we go ahead and we double up this fencing, I have an idea. Oh, I have a great idea. Uh, we're going to double up the fencing. Uh, I need some flooring here. Come on. A little bit of the old dirt rooney There we go. Let that get filled in. All right. We're going to put our showers outside, and this is going to be the way into the showers. We're not going to get, make this restricted with a guard door. I'm going to let anybody who wants out here. Will be my plan. Now let's speed this up. We're building. Don't really care. Prisoners, do whatever you want. Go to bed. We have enough guards. Oh, we're going to have to hire so many guards. All right, more fencing. Again, this is this fence is a deterrent more than anything. And it just says, "Hey, don't even try it." Like just just give up. All right. Come on, workmen, get to work. Oh, this is going to be so great. This is going to be like a big Open design prison block. All right, so we need solitary confinement. We're going to put that in the middle so people can see what happens when you don't behave. And we're going to do that using those barred walls, right? So I'm going to make a little solitary confinement area. Uh, so there's one cell, two cells, three cells, four cells, five cells. So five solitary confinements. And each one of these needs a solitary door. Do we need that? Or do we just need a regular door? Uh, let's do... Okay, this is 500. This, they can pass food through the drawer without need... Ah, yeah. We need the... Why are these... Okay. Yeah, I want... Spend the money. Make it cool. So we got a couple solitary cells that we'll put in there. And of course, if you have a solitary cell, each one of those needs... Does he get a bathroom? If you're in salt, Yeah, give him a bathroom. I mean, let's let them poop in the public. That way they can poop in public if they're in solitary. All right. Now, back to here. Man, everyone's going to rush through this one door. So I'm going to need one more set of fences. I want a fence right here. I don't want anybody going up here. So we'll get that little bit of fence built. Come on, let him out. Oh, this is going to be great. Well, oh, these doors look... Oh, junk, you know? These walls have not turned out the way I wanted with these doors. Uh, I think what I need to do is... Remove... Those... And then I think I need to drag the wall across, right? So if I do this and I go back to here and I drag like that, I think does that build me the sideways wall that doesn't look stupid? Come on, build my wall and make it awesome. Build me some cool walls. That's all I want. Aw, 
this is never going to work correctly. Oh, these solitary cells continue to be... Like here, they just never worked out great either. You know what I mean? Maybe... I think I might have to abandon this idea. Yep. Gonna have to abandon this. Uh, let's see here. How do I... Is there, is there a way I can just dismantle objects? Yeah, right here. Alright, let's get this these walls torn out. We'll rethink solitary here in a moment. We'll come around to that again. Uh, I need to build a door. And again, this is a standard door. The prisoners are allowed to go shower whenever they want. No restriction on showers. But similar to what we have on the other side, we will extend this wall here. And then we'll build some drains. We got 16 of these already, huh? Uh, what we're going to do is... They're 20 bucks a pop. No biggie. Like that. And just in case... I don't want it to flood over here. So I'll put in a large number of drains. And then... We need... Shower... Heads. There we go. Since this continued to be a problem last time... Oh! Whoops! Small little uh, gap in the security there. That's okay. Oh, and look! If you live on this side of the prison, uh, you can... Uh, you can watch people shower. I mean... It's a free show if you live over on this side of the prison. That's great. Oh, nope, not you. All right. And just to be safe, again, you don't want that water going everywhere. That can be a problem. Oh my goodness. The entire prison has overdosed. Everyone's going to have drugs on them. And we're going to do another shakedown. Like, stop with the drugs, everybody. And then we're going to do a tunnel search, because I feel like we haven't searched for tunnels recently. How's our uh, exhaustion? You know what? Here's an easy way to solve exhaustion. That's an easy solution. Where are we trying to search we can't get to? Where's this one space we can't search? Okay, I'm fine. Stop. Stop the shakedown. I'm good. Uh, I want a tunnel search next, please. There's just too much... Too much chance of tunnel. Okay, aha! Is that a tunnel? Oh no, it's a tunnel we fixed before, isn't it? Okay, we should be good. It looks like no tunnels were found. At least not that I can see. Alright, so this disaster... Uh, 
get those taken out of here. We're going to have our showers put in. That's good. And our guys are working on that. We need a... But this is a big project. It's a big project. There's lots of work to do. We got to tear down those walls we messed up. You name it. So. What do we do here? We messed up solitaire. That's okay. Uh... What else do we need? They have a yard. They're going to use this. It's going to be a mess. A glorious mess. We need a common room. I mean, we have almost all the basics. You just got to feed people. We need a common room for them to use. So, what goes in a common room? Uh, common room. Oh, we give them a chapel. But no. Uh, mail room... common room. Why am I blind? There it is. So a common room can be any size. So what I think we'll have, you've, you've seen this before, I mean we're gonna have some spaces here. So let's put in some, uh, what goes in a common room? Uh, some kind of chairs. Maybe if I build it paused, like I can common. Why are you being so difficult? Um, I want like just a big open middle area. That's the thing. What else can we put in the middle middle area? Oh, I know. I know what we can do. Kind of over here. How big does a staff room need to be? Four by four? So, this won't look as pretty, but it'll do what we need. So over here, we're gonna put in a staff room uh, that will allow us to just have our guards rest right here if we need to. Uh, and then here, down the center, Sorry, I'm getting all just thinking about what could we use. This is going to be an enclosed area. Uh, a gymnasium is a 7x7. Seven seven. Oh, yeah. Let's put in a gymnasium in here. Uh, so why not have, like, again, 7x7. Seven seven. Put in a gymnasium. And walls. We're going to use those barred walls. And again, we'll have regular doors. Um, I wish I could have a barred door that was just a lot anybody could go through, but that's okay. I'm going to put it like that. So, what do we need? A weights bench and a gym mat. So. Gym mat. Ooh. Oh, we need a boxing rink. There we go. How big's a gym mat? Oh, we can just put a couple of these in the corner. And a weight bench. One of these guys up here, right? So a little gymnasium, people can come here and box, and it'll have barred uh, barred walls so you can see what's happening from all around, uh, but you'll be able to go inside here. Oh, please let these walls not look like garbage again. Stop with the garbage game. Okay. Come on, I'm missing a piece of wall. Somebody bring in the wall. Thank you. There we go. So anybody who wants in the gym can go there. I like it. A little boxing, a little boxing place. Cool. Um, and we're going to give them their own laundry. In fact, 
we'll have a little section up here that is in line with the gymnasium. It's like a utility area. So laundry will be, uh, you know, we'll make it five by five. Uh, and this will have the same brick that we use everywhere for these places. So that'll be our laundry room. And again, regular door I'm okay with. So they've got that going on. Uh, so they've got their own laundry. We're doing our shower outside. We have a kitchen and canteen. We don't need to worry about storage and deliveries. Don't need a workshop. Don't need any offices. They can use the full prison infirmary. No reason for another infirmary. Well, you know, we can make an infirmary. We can make a tiny infirmary, right? Like, just needs to be big enough for a prison bed. So if our infirmary was like this big, right? And you put a, uh, a medical bed, like just right there. You know, we just want this to be almost the most bare bones of things. Uh, shoot. Oh, what am I doing? And again, I'm not worried about who can enter. Because we're going to have plenty of guards. So that's going to be the infirmary. We don't need offices. We do need a common room. So a common room just has to be inside. Why don't we put the common room next to the gymnasium? Make it like that big. You know? And common room, we can just put stuff in for people to do. Visitation, they'll use the same visitation center as the rest of the prison. Uh, I've just realized this will have to be our exit, so we're going to have to eat the top part of the yard here, but that's okay. Um, so they have a common room. Laundry, visitation. We need a cleaning cupboard. 3x3, three three, we'll put it on the... Uh, We'll put it on the edge right here. Is there anything else that I can put around that? Like, you know, something small. Classroom exports. A chapel it has to be a six by six. So they need their own chapel. And a shop we're gonna do in a bit. So they need a chapel in here. We'll give them their own chapel. We'll do a six by six chapel. Uh, I'm going to keep it in line with everything else. 6x6 six six chapel. Again, same idea that uh, anyone can go in. Oh, this is going to be the happening cell block, I tell you what. Uh, what's our laundry need? Laundry machine, laundry baskets, and an ironing board, right? So, laundry machines, we'll get two of them, laundry baskets, and then two ironing boards. Eh, can we get the smaller ones? They just fit a little better. There we go. So we have an infirmary. The cleaning closet here uh, just had ten bleach. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. Who knows? Uh, but let's do a little bit of the old, let's wall this up. I don't know what would be too wide that we could put here. Uh, that needs a staff door. I would prefer only staff can go in there. But, you know, it happens. Oh, my goodness. People just love the drugs today. They're loving the drugs. Uh, all right. So a chapel needs an altar, pews, and a prayer mat. So we'll put the altar right up here. Doesn't really matter which way it faces, I guess. I will put it in the corner, you know, because that way you can have some pews in front of it. And then we'll have the prayer mats over here if people wish to prayer mat instead. Let people choose what they want. 
So we got gymnasium, common room. Oh, this common room needs some stuff. You know what it needs? It needs just some dumb stuff. Like, again, some TVs. What do we got? Uh, we need a large TV. Just to annoy everybody here. We got two TVs. If you don't want to watch the boxing, you can sit and watch the TVs. You can do that in some of these chairs. What kind of chairs we got? Yeah, we'll just use these chairs. I could put a bench in, couldn't I instead? Where's that short bench? There we go. So you can watch the TV if you want. Um, and we'll just put in some random chairs. In fact, if you want to sit in the common room and watch, the, nah, just some chairs along the way here. A couple chairs here. This is just anybody can walk in, sit down in the common room. Uh, I don't want the gym Common room. Common room. Ooh, a computer station. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, and how about some phones? Yeah. We'll put some phone booths here. If you want to call somebody while you're here, you can do it while you watch the fight. I like it. Um, cool. So they got like a little common room area. They can sit and watch TV. You know, your classic prison common room, I guess. Uh, let's see. What else do we need in here? What other room do we need? They got a laundry. We're building a chapel. We're, we're slowing everything down. We're about to the point where we just need utilities and then prisoners. Uh, we got our staff room here. Oh, almost. Uh, need some brick wall. Again, this is a staff room. It's 4x4, four four, isn't it? Yeah. A wide sofa and a drink machine. A wide sofa. I get a couple sofas in here. A couple sofas. Get the drink machine. Everybody likes some some Sprite. How about we get some... Uh, what's that coffee machine? Yeah, let's get a coffee machine in here. There we go. Everyone likes a coffee machine. This may become the favorite staff room of the entire prison, actually. Oh, we got a tunnel. We got a tunnel. What do we have? All right. I need tunnel search. All sectors. We've detected tunnels. All right. So, we're missing here. Uh, walls and flooring. Oh, no. Foundation. Remove tunnel. Right there. Any other place we've seen the tunnel? Oh, is that the plan? Were those the escape plans? Somebody got out of here? Oh, somebody got out with a tunnel. It's going to happen. You're going to have escapes, but I think we caught it before they made it out. And we may have just sealed someone inside the tunnel. That may have just happened. <clears throat> uh, we got a cleaning cupboard. Again, we got the chapel going on here. Uh, we've got this guy just pumping the weights. No one's boxing, though. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, we need to go ahead and get our utilities figured out. Actually, it's the end of the episode. So next episode, we'll do our utilities. Uh, all right, food, stuff. We need access to the yard. Let's figure that out right now. So what's going to happen is I want to build... I want a large jail door, and I want it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this wall in front of it so that they can have access to this yard. So that way prisoners just go through here. And I'm going to get rid of these two doors, probably. I'm thinking, yes. So these two doors, uh, I want to remove that door, I want to remove that door, and then I'm just going to put in a wall. 
Let's get that done before we wrap up this episode. Come on, get it out of here. Get that junk out of here. Then we'll just build that wall right there. Anything else we need before we open this up other than guards, right? Utilities. Utilities, guards. And then our prison is going to explode like never before. So get ready for some craziness next episode. So until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon.